Hello children. Today our topic is unitary method. Now what is unitary method? Let us understand through example. The cost of 7 pins is rupees 105. What is the cost of 5 pins? Now here what information is given that the cost of 7 pen is given and we have to find out the cost of 5 pens. Now for the for finding out the cost of 5 pens we have to find out the cost of 1 pen first. The step 1 is find the cost of 1 pen that is 105 divided by 7 it gives you 15. In step 2, find the cost of 5 pence. The cost of 5 pence is equals to the cost of 1 pen multiplied by 5. We got rupees 75. Now here, what we have done, first we found the cost of 1 pen then we found the cost of 5 pence. So this method is known as unitary method. The method of first finding the cost of one object and then the cost of many objects is called the unitary method. Now in unitary method, the cost of many things will be given. We have to find out the cost of many more or less things. For doing this, we first go from many to one, then one to many. Got it? Just keep this in your mind that what we are going to do in unitary method. Many to one and one to many. First we found the cost of one thing then we, we can found the cost of many things. In the simple way I can say in the step 1 we are dividing and in the step 2 we are multiplying. Means finding the value of one unit then in the step 2, we are finding the value of required number of units. Now let us take one more example, then it will be more clear to you. The price of a dozen exercise books is rupees 72. Find the cost of 18 exercise books. Now here, a dozen is written. What is the meaning of dozen? A dozen means 12, 12 pieces. So in this question the information is given that a dozen exercise books that means 12 exercise books cost rupees 72. What we have to find out? We have to find out the cost of 18 exercise books. Now for 18 exercise books, we should know the cost of one exercise book. So what we will do, we will solve it according to the steps what we have done. That is, step 1 is to find the cost of one exercise book. That is, 72 will be divided with 12. That comes out to be 6. In the step 2, we are going to find the cost of 18 exercise books. That means the answer we got for the one exercise book will be multiplied with 18. So 18 multiplied 6 is equal to rupees 108. So here what we have done, we, ha we in the first step we have divide first, then the step 2 we have multiplied it. So it's very simple. Go through the exercise. Uh, go to these questions again, and if you found any 
problem in it just write it down in the comment box i will give you the answer thank you and bye